Hello, Chris at ePianos here. Today I want to show you how to record an audio file onto your Yamaha SX900 or 700 keyboard, but then transfer it over to a USB stick for putting onto a computer. Make sure you're signed up to receive our weekly newsletter email featuring more tips and tricks like this and special offers, etc. Also check out our website for a huge selection of pre-owned stock as well. So what I'm going to do first of all is set up the keyboard how I want to play it and all I'm going to do is play a little bit of piano. In fact this is going to be the entirety of my song. So here's how we record that as an audio file and then get it onto a USB stick that I've got plugged in the back here. And by the way, it doesn't matter which socket you plug it into, either one will do just fine. So I've got my piano sound selected. What I then do is come up here and press the recording button. This screen will appear and it is unsurprisingly audio that I want to choose. So press that on the screen. Um, now this screen will appear and it will start flashing on the record. Now note that unlike recording to MIDI, this will not start recording automatically when I start playing. I have to press play on the screen first. So come up here, look, press play on the screen, clock will start ticking and I'll start playing. That's the entirety of my song. Come up to the screen again and press stop. And that has now saved it to the USB stick uh, automatically. So at this point, I could actually just take the USB stick out and be done with it. But to double check that it has saved to the USB, I can close this here and come over to player here on the top left. This will display the songs for me MIDI on the left, audio on the right, press the song there, and here it's taken me automatically to the USB section and it says here I saved it as audio double uh, treble three one and I should be able to at this point rename it if I want to, uh, give it a different name and save it uh, just so I can recognize it because every time that you finish recording an audio song on here it the keyboard will automatically assign a name to it, which will be audio underscore and then whatever number in sequence is coming. So I can free to take my USB stick out now and plug it into a computer if I want to. And I'll have a audio recording. It's important because it's taken the actual sound that I've played from this keyboard uh, rather than just MIDI information, which, of course, if you played back through a computer, would use the onboard or the native sounds of a computer sometimes. Well, most of the time, they're not as good as what we've got on the Yamaha here. And just as an additional thing, in case you're wondering, if I take that USB stick out, uh, should you just want to record yourself, uh, uh, record an audio song and have it saved on the hard drive of the keyboard rather than onto a USB, then that is just as simple, really. But this time, of course, you've taken the USB stick out. So we press record, go to quick recording. But notice this time it says save to user rather than save to USB. And again, what we do is if you start playing, it's not going to start recording you. You have to press play first, then record. Another masterpiece from me. And when you're finished, push stop. That is it. That song I've just played, audio treble three, uh, treble zero two, is now saved onto the hard drive. Press play and it'll play it back. And if I want to view it, I can just uh, press stop, exit out, come over to player. But this time we come over to the screen and go to audio here again. And this time it's showing us the user or the hard drive of the keyboard. And there it is. There's the song, at which point I can just press that and it'll play it back. But I can store all of my audio songs on here and then later copy them to a USB, um, which I'll demonstrate for you now if I put that USB uh, back in the back. It's never the right way around first time, is it? So the USB has been connected and up pops USB 1 just there. So to get it from user to USB, this is what we do. We press file, um, copy. Um, if it's not already highlighted white, then you just need to press it and it will highlight white press copy, 
Then it says, OK, where do you want me to copy that to? And we go to user and press copy here and it will paste itself just there. So that's now safely on the USB stick as well as being on the hard drive of the keyboard. Thanks very much for watching. Hope that was helpful to you. Thank you.